In this video, I'm going to be going through 14 black chicken breeds that you can easily raise. And stay tuned till the end because I'll be going through some really cool exotic chickens. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So our color theme for this video is black, black chicken breeds. There are some gorgeous goth chickens out there and I wanted to showcase some for your pleasure. Now, the majority of these chickens can be found quite easily on hatchery sites or even private sellers. And of course, there are several more black breeds outside of that, but they are much rarer and not easy to locate and expensive. All right, let's dive into the first one, the I Am Samani. Originally from Indonesia, this black chicken has a black heart. Literally, it is one of the few melanistic chickens known to us. I Am Samani is highly revered in its own land as it supposedly has magical powers and can communicate with the spirit world. It is said to be a good luck charm. Feathers, skin, and internal organs are all black. This blood also said to be a darker red than normal. Although only recently brought to Europe in 1998, they are becoming increasingly popular here in the US, partly driven by the novelty of being totally black. Their plumage can shimmer a beetle green iridescence in the sunlight, a beautiful sight. The eggs are cream colored and medium in size. The I Am Samani has a cyclical laying pattern where they will lay 20 to 30 eggs, then stop for a while before they start again. In this manner, they will lay around about 80 eggs per year. If you want to know more about this specific breed, we've actually done an article on it on our website. It's the complete guide to I am Samanis. I'll link to that in the description. All right, number two is the Silky. Although not quite as black as the I am Samani, the Silky is still a black skin chicken. They have black bones too. Just about everyone loves Silkies. They are so cute and cuddly and they look like stuffed toys or little miniature abominable snowmen. The hens are often kept for their brooding ability. It is often jokingly said that a Silky could could hatch a rock. They are diligent about setting and make good mothers to their offspring. In the egg department, they can lay around 100 small cream tinted eggs per year. They are very friendly and child safe. Kids love to cuddle them. The third one on this list is the Pekin or the Cochin. The Cochin has been around for a long time, but it was introduced to English society back in the 1840s. They were presented to Queen Victoria who adored them. These birds were in part responsible for the hen fever that swept the UK and US in the late 1800s. They're very cuddly, head to toe feathers, perfect for cuddling and lap time. In fact, many cochins these days are kept as pets rather than working girls. The cochin is not renowned for prolific laying, although they can produce three to four brown medium-sized eggs each week when they do lay. Cochins are breeds that are prone to frizzling, and a frizzled cochin is a sight to see. They are calm, friendly, and enjoy being pampered by their humans. If you want more information on this delightful breed, we've done a video actually on the cochin chicken, and I'll link to that in the card. All right, the next one on this list is the Australorp, Australia's Orpington. This friendly and productive bird has loved the world over. It has a sweet personality and is a prolific layer of beautiful large brown eggs. They are super easy to care for and low maintenance in general. They will often get attached to their humans and enjoy some cuddle time with you. Australorps are good with kids being gentle and calm birds. These black hens are excellent layers and they will produce five medium light brown eggs weekly. They are dual purpose hens, but rarely are used for meat these days. If you want an in-depth look at Australorps, we've actually done an article on an Australorp. If you want, I'll link to that in the description as well. The next one on the list is Orpingtons. The original Orpington bird was actually black. The breed was created back in Victorian times as a good layer and a good table fare hen. This dual purpose hen was just as useful now as it was then. The hen will lay in the region of four to five large brown eggs each week and as a table bird, it is ready at around 22 weeks. However, if you want a big fluffy hen that enjoys lap time and cuddles, the Orpington could well fit the bill. They are calm, docile, and regal, quiet enough to be in a small backyard and most definitely non-aggressive. If you want more information on the Orpington breed overall, just go ahead and check out an article that I'll link in the description as well for that one. The next one on the list is the Jersey Giant. This is probably one of the largest breeds you'll ever see. The Jersey Giant lives up to its name. Hens will grow to eight or nine pounds and the roosters to 11 to 13 pounds. They are a dual purpose 
Purpose breed raised for meat and eggs. This black hen will lay three extra large brown eggs per week and will occasionally go broody. They are slow to mature, taking around six months to reach full size. So if your budget is limited, you may want to consider the amount of feed they will eat. Jerseys are gentle, big black chickens, very easygoing and docile, suitable as a family bird. They like to forage in the yard, although they do tolerate being confined. They are a winter hardy in northeastern states, but don't do quite as well in the heat. You should provide shade and cool water for them. Number six on this list is the Menorca chicken. Menorca is from the Spanish island of Menorca in the Mediterranean Sea. It is thought they were originally brought there by the Moors when they invaded Spain. In its homeland, it is considered in danger of extinction. The ALBC has it on a watch list and is primarily an egg-laying bird and will put out four large white eggs weekly. Menorcas are said to thrive with human company and enjoy foraging. However, care needs to be taken with them as they are described as flighty. They are hardy birds except in the depths of winter when their prestigious combs may suffer from frostbite. Although classified as a large breed, they are on the smaller end of the scale with hens weighing around seven pounds. The seventh on the list is the Breda chicken. This is an unusual bird originated in Holland. Its history goes back a few centuries. An unusual looking bird, it has feathered feet, vulture hawks, and no comb. Needless to say, the no comb helps tremendously in cold climates. It's a large bodied bird with strong legs and a distinctive gait that can be best described as paddling. The hen's full weight will be around five or six pounds. They give a decent amount of eggs, about four large white eggs per week. This is a slow growing bird and doesn't reach its full potential until the second year. It is a very docile and curious bird that can be quite shy with people until they know you. This bird is critically endangered worldwide. There are a few breeders here in the U.S. and several in the Netherlands. The next one on the list is called the Sfart Hona, literally meaning black hen. It comes from Sweden. Like the I'm Samani, it too is melanistic. The Svart Hona likely originated in Indonesia. How it got to Sweden is a bit sketchy, but it is thought that some birds were brought to Norway by seafarers back in the 17th century. They have not gathered the same following as the I'm Samani, and yet it lays more eggs. It is considered a rare breed, but is available in the U.S. The hens will lay around 250 small white or cream tinted eggs per year, so approximately two to three eggs per week. Hens have a slight tendency towards broodiness and they make great mothers. It is a friendly and small bird with hens weighing around three pounds. They are pretty cold hardy, but they get the occasional frostbitten combs, especially the boys. The next one on the list is the La Fleche chicken. If you want an unusual and fairly rare bird for your poultry yard, the La Fleche might just be it. It is an ancient fowl from the 15th century and was generally found around La Fleche near Paris. The comb is also arrow shaped, hence the name. It has been called the devil's bird because the comb looks a bit like two horns. The bird's flesh is outstanding and has a following in the slow food crowd, which has helped the bird make a small comeback recently. It is listed as critically endangered by the ALBC. As a slow grower, it became unpopular compared to the faster growing poultry of recent years. It takes 10 months for a bird to reach its full growth potential when a hen weighs around six and a half pounds. The left flesh is also kept as an ornamental bird, does bear confinement well, but its personality is somewhat wild and untamed. The La Flesh tolerates heat, but not cold really well. Now, number 11 on this list, I'll get into in just a second. But before I do, please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also be sure to subscribe to our website, thehappychickencoop.com. If you subscribe using the link in the description, you'll receive a free ebook on the 10 best egg laying chicken breeds. All right, number 11 on the list is the Langshan chicken. The original Langshans came from China and were later imported to England. The the breed was split into four different types by breeding practices, crowed, modern, German, and Australian. The Langshan most easily found in the US is the modern. In the UK, the crowed can be found fairly easily. It is a large bird, hens weigh around seven pounds with beautiful black shimmering plumage. They have some light feathering on their legs. They will lay three large dark brown eggs per week, and the crowed's eggs will often have a pink or light mauve tinge to the shell. Langshans are good flyers. They like to forage, but will tolerate confinement. They're usually quite docile, but not necessarily cuddly. They are winter hardy, but not comfortable in heat and humidity. The 12th one on this list is the Crevacore. This is another breed of black chickens that is critically endangered, which is one factor influencing the fact that they almost didn't make our list. When you see this black chicken breed, you will notice wild crests on their beards and heads. The roosters have a V comb, but you 
can't always see it clearly from the spot behind its crest. Crevicurs don't lay a lot of eggs. Instead, humans originally bred them for meat, which is known for being tender. If you do get your hands on a crevicure, you could participate in conservation efforts. Good news is that these chickens are peaceful and do well in confined spaces. Number 13 on this list is the Java. Despite the name, Java chickens aren't actually from Java. Americans bred them from chickens that came from the Far East. They do, however, have the distinction of being the American breed of chickens that is the second oldest. Java chickens used to be very popular with farms and homesteads alike, but their slow growth made farms choose other chickens over them. That being said, if you have a homestead chicken coop, Java chickens are worth considering. Hens are broody and typically lay about three large eggs each week. While this black chicken breed prefers having the freedom to roam and forage, it can also tolerate confinement. Because of their docility, Java chickens are a great choice for your backyard. In terms of appearance, these chickens may be all black or their feathers might be black and white. When the sun hits them just right, their feathers look green. And the last one on this list, the Sumatra chicken. As the name implies, Sumatra chickens come from the Sumatra and Borneo and Java Indonesian island. While you can still regularly find Sumatra chickens in their native areas, they are occasionally found in the United States. However, they are usually kept for exhibition or ornamental reasons, not producing eggs. On top of that, they aren't sociable with humans. Instead of being docile, friendly chickens, you're more likely to compare their personality to game birds. They make up for their personality though, with regal demeanor. Males also have long flowing tails and are larger than females. Now, with so many breeds of black chickens, how do you choose which one you should raise? There's a lot of factors to consider. Well, start by considering how hard you're willing to work to get the chicken. As mentioned, some of the breeds are much rarer than others. That makes them harder to get, but it also means that you can help with conservation efforts if you choose to raise them. You will also want to think about why you want the chickens. If you want a steady supply of eggs, then make sure you choose one of the breeds known for its egg laying. If you want an ornamental chicken, then choose based on appearance. Don't forget to consider the breed's overall personality either. For example, if you want a docile and social chicken you can interact with, you will likely avoid some of the more aloof or wild breeds. On top of that, think about your backyard setup. Remember that some breeds do better with confinement than others. As such, make sure that your space fits preferences of your chosen breed. If you like this video, please be sure to check out this one over here. That's going to do it for us today at the Happy Chicken Coop. Thanks for listening. If you like our content, if you find it interesting, if you learned something new, like the video and subscribe to the channel. With that, I hope you have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.